I found it hard to believe that a country like Greece, half the size of Australia, that had been in the midst of an economic crisis since 2010, could extend such compassion and hospitality to a massive number of people that were arriving there by boat into local communities. I found that incredible when I compared that to the situation we had here, where just a few thousand people since 2013 arrived and our response was the exact opposite. We took those people, we didn't respect them, we didn't make them feel supported and we sent them offshore to isolated, unsupported environments on Nauru and Manus Island in Papua New Guinea. My name is Angus MacDonald. I'm an Australian artist from a small town called Lennox Head on the east coast of Australia. For the last 12 months, together with a couple of collaborators, we've been looking for some answers to explain the nature of the refugee and asylum seeker crisis. We wanted to find out the stories of these people that have been displaced. Why are they leaving? What they've been through? What they're hoping to find? We also wanted to talk to people in local communities that have had to absorb large numbers of people fleeing their home countries. But the question we wanted to answer the most was, why does Australia, our country, a country that considers itself decent, how is it possible that we can treat such a small number of people that have arrived on our shores seeking protection so inhumanely? Nobody should ever doubt the resolve of this government to keep our borders secure. We decide who is coming here. We don't outsource that to the people. We will decide who comes to this country and the circumstances in which they come. To find these answers, we decided to travel to places in the world where the refugee and asylum seeker issue exists on a massive scale. We went to Jordan, we went across Greece, and we went to Lebanon. All three of these countries are countries that have had to manage a massive number of arrivals. It wasn't a question for them whether they should treat the people that arrived with respect or not. They decided they had to do that. It was merely a question of trying to find ways to work that out. I found the contrast so incomprehensible that when I got back from that trip, my aim was really to try and share everything I found and everything I learned with other Australians, and not just Australians, because I think the way we're doing it now is wrong. I think there are solutions. I think a humanitarian approach works, and there can only be one class of human being, and there can only be one acceptable way to treat other human beings. And it's not because it's difficult, because there are solutions, and we've seen many of them on our travels. Thank you.